Hi everyone, this is Leslie from Midlife and Nailing It. If you could please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, I'd really appreciate it. Today I have for you a New Year's Eve tray idea, and I kind of did a tablescape as well. Uh, this is actually a collab that is hosted by Elsa from Elsa the Bargain Hunter and Kathy from Kathy's Favorite Things. I'll put both of their links in the description box below and be sure you check out the playlist. I'm sure there's going to be some really awesome ideas. Let's get started. So this is my take on a New Year's Eve tray. This is actually an idea that I did. I kind of combined two ideas. I think I probably found on Pinterest for my kids a few years back. They're older now, so they're going to do their own thing for New Year's Eve. Uh, but what I did for uh, my tray is I just picked up a silver tray at the dollar store. And then these are those cute little, like for packages. Um, and I just bought, I don't know, like six of them and threw them on the tray. And then I've got little champagne glasses with milk and cookies on top. I've got some chocolate chip cookies on top. I think when I did it with my kids, I used the M&M uh, cookies, the, you know, the red and green M&M cookies. Um, it was actually one of our activities, and I'll get to the activities in a minute. Uh, so I just called this the milk and cookie toast, and so this is what or something similar I served to the kids when it uh, was midnight. What I did is I just capped with the gold and silver theme here in each box, and you can use bags too. In fact, when I did it, I think I used bags instead of boxes. Has some sort of activity in it. Um, you can do whatever activity is appropriate for the age of your kids or uh, what your family likes. And then attached to the bags, or the, the boxes, whatever you choose to use, I've got a balloon. And I kind of start, started the countdown earlier at like 3 p.m. And so at 3 p.m., one of your kids can pop the balloon, and then in the box or the bag, you've got some kind of an activity. For 3 p.m., the first activity could be the recipe, or if it's in a bag, you could put those M&Ms in the bag um, to make cookies. So you make your cookies for the midnight milk and cookie toast. Uh, and you got to, you know, don't be trying to do this with too young of kids because by midnight you'll want to pull your hair out of your head. I think my kids were probably third and fifth grade when I did this with them. So my next balloon I've got here uh, was 5 p.m. Uh, I think a good idea to do around this time would maybe be to take your kids to a movie, maybe have uh, movie tickets or a movie gift card in there or you could rent a movie or watch a movie on Netflix You could make like a little coupon about it and stick it in that box or bag I've got an 8 p.m. I think with kids uh, and this isn't just as a parent I've actually I worked in education for a really long time and I think that all kids like to do some sort of crafts and I know when I did this with my kids we did the shrinky dinks um, if you haven't seen those, Google them. They're pretty cool. Uh, they're like a plastic sheet, like a thicker sheet, and it usually has characters or designs or something on them. Uh, you color them in with special uh, crayons or pencils. I can't remember what comes with it, but you color them in, and then you cut them out, stick them in the oven, and they can see them shrink up, and they're like these hard little things. You can make magnets or uh, whatever. Another activity that I've done is... Um, the sun catchers, kids always love sun catchers, and you could do that with, um, go to the dollar store, they usually have that stuff, or Michael's or Joann's, um, yeah, so just find activities like that, so I would probably do something like that around 8 p.m., and again, right at that time, and they start looking for the time and get excited, let your kids take turn pop in the balloons, so then around like 9 o'clock, um, I think I had some kind of a game. So Uno or Skip Bow or some kind of a card game, you could put it in the bag or the box, or you could just put, again, some kind of a paper denoting what activity is coming next. They'll be so excited. It's really, this is really fun. It's a lot of work. 
uh, and, and it doesn't have to be expensive. You can use stuff around your house or it can be little gifts, little trinkets. Try to make it be like activities though, not just presents because, you know, try to do things with your kids when you if you do this idea. 11 p.m., I think I would do something like Chinese lanterns. I don't know, something that you can think of out of the box that's fun. Or you could do another game here. Then, of course, you have midnight, and then that's when the midnight balloon gets popped, and you're ready for your milk and cookie toast at midnight. When I did this with my family, I had the best time. We spent so much time together. We laughed. We had fun. And I don't know, the kids were just right at that right age. Now they, you know, they take off and go do their own things. But we have that memory. And I just wanted to share this tablescape with you and this idea with you so that you could maybe have that memory with your family because it's one of my favorites. I hope everyone has a happy new year and I'll see you soon.